Hello and welcome to a demonstration of Arbor and the integration with OpenTree with a few special analyses that are that are there. We're going to take a, we're going to take this data set here which is the um, Geospiza where the genus Geospiza has been added in the front of the species names. We're going to build a workflow. We're going to call it um, OpenTree name lookup. Okay, we'll build a new workflow. Uh, we're going to take a look at that and edit it. And then the first thing we'll do is add uh, extract scientific name from the character matrix. Um, we're going to put in our character matrix right here. And then we're going to extract just the species names columns from it. Then the next thing we're going to do is look up the open tree uh, canonical names from the species names. All right. Then the next thing we'll do is ask for um, get a tree given a set of open tree taxonomy IDs. Okay, and then by here we have a tree. So we're going to save that tree out. And now we're going to run it. Oh, we have to save this first. Okay, to keep track so it knows what to do. Okay, so there now we're passing our character matrix. What's happening here, the first step is it's extracting just the scientific name column out of the character matrix. The second step is looking up those scientific names against the TNRS of OpenTree using the match name call in uh, version 2 API. Uh, there is an algorithm to sort, to filter from the outputs uh, that comes back from uh, the TNRS. There could be an error at the Arbor level uh, there of picking not the best candidate that comes back. That's a place to, to take a look. But this process works right here, produces uh, a list of OpenTree IDs. Then those trees are, then that is used to pull the uh, subtree from node IDs call from OpenTree and it produces a tree that's the output. Uh, we'll take a look here at the uh, dendrogram from the output. Okay. Um, this particular one comes back with a polytomy uh, here um, in in the, the region and we'll take a look also at the at the um, ah let's see we didn't take let's look at something here we didn't uh, show this and we didn't drop out what came out here so let's also save out this name table right and we'll say save and we'll rerun this and then we can look at what what um, canonical names came out of the TNRS lookup um, from OpenTree and the filtering that we did at the Arbor level. So this idea here is there's certainly tuning to be done in how to do the lookup and how to present the the names but this does show uh, you know the let's see let's take a look at the table here's what came out of the here's what was returned from OpenTree and then filtered from Arbor so you see that some of the genus names are different here and that's probably why the tree looks the way it does but this uh, uh, we wanted to show this um, gives the the idea of how you can explore with uh, OpenTree integration also some of the individual um, things there's ex explore some of these individual things can be looked up can be run just by hand we can we can take uh, characters run uh, and explore the like the autocomplete box query um, level of the API and get back a table that we can view so right here we're passing the table the character matrix to that call looking up each of the names and the explore um, analysis sets in Arbor are designed to be one of a kind rather than running a workflow be one one at a kind one of at a time and it just explore the output that comes back so here we'll take a look at the output that came back from that explorer we passed um, a character matrix to it and got back a number of you know completions you know so so there was some here that we didn't find and so this is this is a way that you can explore the TNRS just really without any programming you can type in some names get a name table and explore. So I hope this gives you some quick examples of how uh, Arbor can be used to uh, exercise the OpenTree API. Thank you.